This video covers the nitrogen cycle as featured in the ecology section of our course. And the nitrogen cycle is all to do with nutrient recycling. It's all to do with exchanging elements, in this case nitrogen, between living organisms and the environment. And it's really important that nutrient recycling constantly occurs because you want to ensure there's a constant supply of these elements for use by other organisms. Nitrogen is essential to all living organisms. It's needed to make proteins, and you know that there's a really important group of proteins called enzymes, and also to make nucleic acids, DNA being a really important one. So before we begin the nitrogen cycle, let's just consider some important facts just to ground us. Firstly, most of the air is nitrogen, approximately 79% of the air is nitrogen. However, it's in a really unreactive form, a form that is not readily available to plants. Plants cannot absorb atmospheric nitrogen directly, so it has to be changed or has to be fixed. Secondly, animals mostly get their nitrogen by eating plants that have assimilated nitrogen containing compounds. And the last thing to consider is that plants usually get their nitrogen by either absorbing ammonium ions or nitrate ions, but mostly nitrate ions. Step number one in the nitrogen cycle is nitrogen fixation. This is the conversion of that unreactive atmospheric nitrogen or gaseous nitrogen into nitrogen compounds that are absorbable by plants. So this usually involves converting atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, which gets converted to ammonium very quickly, or directly converting atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. Nitrogen fixation is the first step in the nitrogen cycle. It's the conversion of that unreactive gaseous nitrogen or atmospheric nitrogen into a form that's more readily absorbable by plants. So that means converting it either into ammonia that gets converted into ammonium or converting it directly into nitrate. So how does this happen in nature? Well, it can happen in nature through the action of volcanoes or by lightning. There is an industrial process that's used to manufacture fertilizers called the Haber process but in nature we're mostly concerned with the action of bacteria, free living bacteria that live in the soil and also bacteria that live in the nodules of legumes, these particular types of plants. Nitrogen fixation is mostly carried out by free living bacteria that live in the soil. They convert atmospheric or gaseous nitrogen into ammonia or ammonium. In addition to the nitrogen fixing bacteria that are free in the soil, there's also bacteria that live in the root nodules of legumes. Legumes are types of plants, clover, soya beans, alfalfa being examples. There are these particular bacteria that live in the root nodules of these plants and it's a mutualistic relationship. The bacteria fix nitrogen so they convert atmospheric nitrogen to nitrate so the plant has a source of nitrate and in return the plant is giving the bacteria nutrients. So it's symbiosis but it's mutualism. Another important step in the nitrogen cycle is nitrification. This is the conversion of ammonia or ammonium to nitrite, then to nitrate. Remember, ammonia is very quickly converted to ammonium. So animals produce a lot of waste, and this waste contains nitrogen-containing compounds. Bacteria and fungi play a hugely important role in breaking down this organic matter and releasing ammonia or ammonium into the soil. This is then quickly converted by bacteria to nitrite, then to nitrate. These bacteria are chemosynthetic. They use energy released from chemical reactions to make their food. The final step in the nitrogen cycle is denitrification. It's the conversion of nitrate to nitrogen gas. It's carried out by anaerobic bacteria, bacteria that thrive in a swampy, boggy soil. And it's something to consider if land is flooded. If land is flooded, this particular type of bacteria are going to thrive and they're going to basically remove all of the nitrogen out of the soil and return it as nitrogen gas. When we consider the nitrogen cycle, we consider nitrogen fixation, nitrification and denitrification, three processes where different types of bacteria play a hugely important role. We also have to consider those decomposers, bacteria and fungi, which play a role in breaking down dead organic matter. And this is hugely important in the nitrogen cycle as well. The nitrogen cycle questions can be tough, so the only way to really prepare for them is to do the past examination questions and to check the answers with the marking scheme. Best of luck.